Hi, my name is Jean Richel. I'm the presiding judge of Seattle Municipal Court, and I'm here to introduce our relicensing program. The court has been working on relicensing for a number of years, and we're very proud of our program. And I'm here just to tell you a little bit about the program. We started the relicensing program recognizing that many people have difficulty paying traffic infractions without having the opportunity to pay those infractions on time. We also have that program for those defendants who may not have paid for tickets in the past and may be in the situation where they have uh, a great deal of money that they owe on past tickets. The court's program allows defendants to come in and make a time payment plan when they owe a great deal of money on past tickets and pay those tickets off on a time payment plan. The court will then release holds on those tickets so that those defendants are able to get the licenses back. And the reason the court does this is because we recognize, first of all, that it's important for defendants to be able to get their licenses back so that they then can become employed and get a job and be able to become successful members of our community again. The court is interested in extending a helping hand and meeting defendants halfway. So this video is here to tell you about that program and give you information about how to access our program and what steps you can take if you're in the situation that you need to get your license back and how you can do it. And we hope you'll find the information useful to you. Thank you. organize my life and one thing that I don't have is my license and uh, that's keeping me from getting jobs that I really need. They end up selling my car and then they send me a bill right to pay the storage. I was a mess, a total mess. It happens to us and it's hard to be without licenses. It's very hard. It blocks you everything. There are more than 290,000 people in our state with suspended driver's licenses. 89% of them lost their licenses because of unpaid traffic tickets. This could happen to anybody. It could be you. It could be anybody out there that, that maybe doesn't pay attention to the number of tickets they have. A lot of times you may get a ticket, you kind of file it away, you, you get upset, you don't want to pay it, you forget about it, and it builds up. When those fines build up, you could find yourself in financial and legal trouble. Here's how the whole thing starts. You get pulled over because your taillight is out. That's $86. The police officer asks to see your license, registration, and proof of insurance. You don't have insurance. That's another $480. You can't pay, so you don't respond to the ticket. And then your license is suspended. But you keep on driving because you have to. The next time you're stopped, the officer finds out you don't have a valid license and your traffic fines are still unpaid and collecting interest. That's driving without a license, or DWLS, in the third degree. And when you're caught, they might tow your car away. You could even go to jail. The people most affected by the uh, driving with your license suspended law are obviously the people at the lower end of the economic scale and often the loss of a car can have devastating uh, consequences for people and people will sometimes drive anyway and we have to get them past that and have to be sure that losing a car doesn't become a huge economic liability to people. The Seattle City Council and the Seattle Municipal Court recognized the need and took action. The result is the court's relicensing program and the goal is to help people take care of their outstanding fines get their licenses reinstated, and get back on the road as legal drivers. The court is saying to these defendants, we're willing to meet with you halfway, and we're going to try to make it possible for you to do that and to meet your obligations, because the court and the community has an interest in the defendant being a responsible driver. And if the defendant is a responsible driver, the defendant uh, that's good for the defendant, it's good for the court, it's good for the community. Seattle Municipal Court's relicensing program focuses on fairness and accessibility. For some people, the economic hardship of fines and DWLS charges is devastating. So a program like this really does help them put a plan in place to address the, the overdue tickets that they have. Uh, many people, uh, regardless of your, of your financial status, 
probably don't have the you know five hundred a thousand bucks that you can just throw out on a ticket. Yeah. All rise, please. To lessen the financial impact, the court offers these options. Time payments so that you can pay off the fines in reasonable installments. Reissue of your driver's license as soon as the first payment is made so that you can get back on the road. And community service instead of cash because some people have a lot more time than money. For people who work during the day, it's much easier to get to court at night. In Seattle, suspended license cases have been consolidated into one night court calendar. This is more convenient for all the agencies involved as well. It allows the cases to be consolidated so that the defense agency, the city prosecutor is there to deal with all these cases. And it allows our community agencies to be at the court and they only have to be there one night a week. On Wednesday nights, there's an information session at court for drivers with suspended licenses. For first-time offenders, this replaces a formal arraignment. Defendants learn how tickets can be handled, what services are available, and what to expect in the courtroom itself. And you're here today for a short 10-minute orientation, just to give you an educational piece about your driving while license suspended citations and the infractions you receive with your driving while license suspended citations. While we know court can be intimidating to folks, they will get to meet with someone who explain all the processes before they even walk into the courtroom. Many people have tickets in more than one jurisdiction, and that means going to more than one court. During its Wednesday night sessions, Seattle Municipal Court has a representative available from King County District Court. That way, any tickets from King County can be dealt with at the same time. This service may expand in the future. We are working hard to set up more links with other programs and get the courts to cooperate so we have more linkages and more common programs throughout uh, our county and perhaps throughout the state. I'm going to take the first 10 people at a time. I need your ID available. Once you put your name on the list, you need to exit through the back door. Afterwards, you need to Community partnerships are a vital part of making the court's relicensing program work. Our, our relationship with the courts has been really a, a partnership, which is really ideal because we're working together for a common goal. The Central Area Motivation Program, or CAMP, has a long waiting line on the days when people sign up for its relicensing program. And LILO, the Northwest Labor and Employment Law Office, is another community partner offering help with relicensing. The city of Seattle has um, recognized that there are difficulties in people getting back to work, and the difficulty is because they're not able to get their driver's license. When somebody comes into our program, uh, we help to empower the individual, and we advocate for for you to get your license back. I think what happens with um, people going through the court system itself or even dealing with the law enforcement, there's this intimidation. And what the community-based organizations are able to do is reach out to their community. And just like myself, I'm not a lawyer. You know, not, I'm not in employment, you know, but I am a community organizer, and I listen to people. Both Camp and Lilo support people who are struggling to get their lives in order. I know I can't do it alone. For one, I don't have the resources, and I don't have the knowledge on who to talk to and who to go to. And Lilo, it's that outlet. It, it's um, they have certain uh, resources that I don't have to uh, where, where I can get it done. Geraldine became involved with Lilo when her sister racked up $22,000 in traffic fines. And this was all through the Seattle Municipal Court, and they introduced my sister to Lilo. And Lilo has bent over backwards to help her to get out of debt and um, to try and get her driver's license back. Hi. 
Hello. On Wednesday nights, Lilo and camp representatives are at the courthouse. They help people who have outstanding tickets in other jurisdictions, answer questions they may have about relicensing, and offer one-on-one -on -one assistance. Each person we have take, had individual intake sessions with them, one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions, talking about what their problems are, what led them to become um, de driving while suspended in the third degree, and why is their license important to them. We've written letters for them, we've called different courts, and we have probably successfully licensed over 210 people. Francine, you were telling me that your car had been impounded, but it was before the car recovery clinic started. Part of the relicensing program is learning how to avoid having your license suspended in the future. The most important thing is to respond to traffic tickets within 14 days, because then you have some choice in how to handle them. When you get a ticket, flip it over and check off one of three choices. Pay the ticket in full by sending in the money. Contest the ticket by requesting a court date. You can then explain why you shouldn't have received the ticket. Or ask for mitigation. This means that you're admitting you did it, but you're explaining the circumstances and asking for a lower fine. And check to be sure your address is correct on the ticket. If you can't pay and you don't know what to do, ask someone who does. If you can't pay it, call one of the organizations, call the municipal court, make arrangements, let them know, hey, I have some financial challenges here, this is going to be difficult. I, I think the biggest piece people don't understand is that they need to communicate. And, and if you just communicate, that, that's going to go a long way. Finally, remember how important it is to be able to drive. The court and the community organizations are prepared to help, but it's up to you to ask. And if it wasn't for this program, I don't know what I would do. That's the honest to God truth. I don't know what I would have done, you know, if I had to go months without being able to go down to the hall to be able to work, to be able to feed my kids. So I must, I had to have my license, and I must keep them. For more information, contact these resources.